G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're looking at the Alpha Tactical Grid Fleece Jacket. First of all, let's show you why I got it in the multicam. I got it to go with my backpack and my day packs from Tasmanian Tiger and I've got those in multicam. And the pattern is a very, very close match. So now, instead of having my bright blue, or should I say my grey um, jacket on, and then putting another jacket over top of bright blue, in the mornings or in the midday when it's not so warm, but too warm to have a main jacket on, I can wear this now and still basically merging with my surroundings as I'm walking through the bush. So even on a day walk, like my pack I use now, which is the Essentials from Tasmanian Tiger, in multicam, it means, like I just said, I can merge in more and I'm not gonna stick out like a sore thumb. So let's have a quick going over this. We have the hook and loop or your Velcro patches on the top of each arm. We have a pocket here, which can be opened up to let air go through to allow you to breathe a bit more. I've actually got this on on a day where it's just a little bit too warm for it, so I can feel myself perspiring a bit. But it'll give it a test of how good it is at uh, letting the perspiration out. And again, I've got another pocket the same on this side. We have a chest pocket on it. Which has a smaller pocket inside for an organiser, which Looks like you can fit a compass in there. I put my uh, Samsung Note 8 in a uh, one of those cases, the big thick ones, the Otter ones, and that fits in that. So it is a tight squeeze, but it does fit in there. And on the inside, you can see we've got a second line in, and that's just on the front. So it's going to make it a, uh, a bit more wearable, a bit more comfortable. It does have YKK zippers. So it's a two-way zipper on this. We've got the top. And if you've got anything on your belt, we've got another at the bottom. So you just lift it up, get to your belt or to your pocket a lot easier and then just zip it straight back up which is a good touch and um, again we've got a pocket here the answer made it up to my head then another pocket on this side with a zip but this is a slim fit jacket so if you're looking for something with plenty of room and you do want one of these i'd go one size up to be honest i'm not the Biggest of guys, but I'm not the slimmest of guys. I have got a bit of a tummy on me. So it is fitted there, but I can still fit my hands in the two pockets. And I've still got my keys in there to the car. So perfect for a mid layer, I'd say. So have a, your base layer on, t-shirt, and this fits over the top. And a rain jacket over the top of this. And I don't think you'll need anything else here in Australia. Even though at night it does get down below the zero degrees centigrade. But once you get up, walk in with your pack on, within a couple of minutes, you're warming up. So I don't honestly think I'm gonna to need to carry my, um, my, not my fleece, my down jacket I normally carry. Love the jacket, really comfortable. But now with this, and I also have the sword a jacket to go over, over the top, which is a waterproof one in the same camo, which I'll be showing in a later video. But this is gonna go really nice in my winter setup. Yeah. One thing I will mention with this one is there's no arm, no pit zips. But like I said, it, it is a slim fit, I'd say a snug fit. And when I first put it on, I thought, hold on, it feels a bit tight around my arms and everything. 
but it doesn't restrict. They've got these panels, the way they've cut them here. And I've got full motion, full movement. It doesn't get in the way of my pack. There's no real hem. There's one coming down here, but it's fairly flat. So I don't feel it with my pack on. Uh, you've got some jackets where you've got the, the stitching coming across and the angles. And they've got that really thick ball of stitching, I'll, I'll call it. It's like having a cord running down. And some of my jackets, uh, my older jackets, because I'm slowly getting rid of them now and replacing them, have got that. So when I wear a day pack or a multi-day pack, the shoulder straps rub. So I do get sore. So I'm just watching the ants going, going mad around me, but at the moment they're staying away, thankfully. But going back to the jacket, with this one, because the stitching is fairly flat, no hassle. And going back to this pocket, I don't think I mentioned that you've actually got a piece here where if you've got your phone in here and you've got your cable coming up for your earphones or even a microphone like I've got I'm wearing at the moment, I could have put it in there, had the cable come through and out. So if you're worrying about taking your phone with you and listening to music as you walk, you've got your pocket there for your phone or your iPod or iPad or whatever you call them nowadays and somewhere for the cable to come through to protect it on the inside. Like I said, it's a grid. So it's not a normal flat fleece. You can just see the grids on it. That, they don't actually say why they've done it that way. When I first saw it, I thought, oh, maybe, maybe not. But once I wore it and realized that once I throw my jacket over the top, these are also creating another Another pocket to hold warmth in. So we've got the, the fleece on the inside to hold pockets of warmth. And we've got the fleece on the outside. Uh, with the grids on it, should I say, on the inside and the grid on the outside. Which is also going to uh, catch the warmth in your jacket. So if that's why they've done it, that's a very clever thing to do. Because you've got two layers in of warmth being trapped. And then your main jacket over the top, so you're going to be... I believe, especially if you're walking around doing stuff, nice and warm. And like I said before, if I'm at camp, I've got my little stove going, um, my little Lixada one, if I remember it was called, with the wood-burning stove going in there, which I use as a personal fire, rather than making a big fire pit. And then when I'm finished with that and it gets too late and really cold, I'll just jump in the hammock and I've got my under quilt and I've got my top quilt and I'm nice and toasty. So, People always ask, would I recommend anything? I would do, actually. I, I weren't, didn't think I was going to, but we're wearing it a few times. And like I said, even now I can feel myself a little bit of perspiration, but I've got the wind blown also. And there's very, very, very little getting through. Just feel a bit here. That's because it's not actually close it's quite loose around my arm fitting there yeah very little very little winds getting through perspiration not as bad as I thought it was going to be for today I've only walked about a kilometer to get here and so I'm going to take a walk back to the car go home and I'm going to edit this video so hopefully if I get a chance to get out in the next week I'll get out with the sword um, I'll call it the sword rain jacket. I can't remember the, the proper name of it now, but I'll show you a video and I'll bring this one with me also and I'll show you the two working together and show you how close the actual camo patterns really are. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and it's the first time to my channel, please go down below and click on the subscribe button, click on the like button and also click on that bell button next to it so you can be notified of all future videos. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care.